Gabby Logan has shared a candid insight into her painful battle with unexplained infertility while posing for a sizzling new Women's Health UK photo shoot. A TV star, 50, revealed that she and husband Kenny, 51, were left frustrated after struggling to conceive before eventually welcoming twins Lois and Reuben, 18, via IVF. In the snaps, Gabby showcased her jaw-dropping figure in a skimpy black bodysuit which she wore with matching thigh-high boots. The former gymnast and BBC sports presenter showcased her athleticism as she worked up a sweat on bar and with a hula hoop. Gabby told the publication how she expected to get pregnant quickly due to her and her rugby playing partner's super healthy lifestyle, saying, we were in our 20s and it didn't happen straight away, and it didn't after a year, and it didn't happen after 18 months, dot, 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 we went through all the tests, and it was unexplained fertility. She went on, and that was a really disappointing day to find that out, because, having been someone who was proactive with their health, I wanted to be told something that I could sort out and I was told to just carry on. Gabby continued, and I felt that was not the answer I was looking for, because I was already really healthy dot 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 as someone who was a former competitive sports person. I wanted a plan, and I wanted a way of getting my body to do what it should so. I was just frustrated that it was something we wanted to achieve and couldn't do. Gabby previously revealed on Giovanna Fletcher's podcast Happy Mom Happy Baby that she and Kenny realized they would have to have some medical intervention to get pregnant. During IVF, an egg is removed from a woman's ovaries and fertilized with sperm in a laboratory. The fertilized egg, called an embryo, is later returned to the womb to grow and develop. Elsewhere, Gabby revealed that no one else in the family had had difficulties getting pregnant and said, it was uncharted territory in that respect. I didn't really even talk to my mom about it. She went for her embryo transfer, then had to wait a few weeks to find out if she was pregnant. Gabby revealed that it was a nerve-wracking time, although she was working and doing things as normal. After some blood spotting which left Gabby scared she and Kenny had lost the babies, she was told the day after that she was pregnant and the embryos had taken. The husband and wife welcomed Reuben and Lois in 2005 after Gabby was induced. She said, getting into hospital and being induced, suddenly everything kind of just goes out the window, does it? Because you're no longer really in control of what's happening. She said, getting into hospital and being induced, suddenly everything kind of just goes out the window, does it? Because you're no longer really in control of what's happening. Gabby added, they said it won't work first time, it never does. So, we'll get you in and induce you and if nothing's happening you stay the night we can monitor you and Kenny comes back in the morning. Only, he went home and about two hours later I went into full-blown labor but unfortunately, it was 24 hours later before I actually gave birth. 